Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today we are talking about SOLID principle. SOLID is an acronym that represents five software design pattern principle that aim to make software system more maintainable, scalable and easier to modify. The five SOLID principles these are the first one is the single responsibility principle SRP. The SRP states that a class should have only one reason to change meaning it should only have one responsibility. This principle aims to make classes easier to maintain, test and modify. So let's take an example of single responsibility uh, principle. Suppose we have a class called order that represent a customer order in an e-commerce system. The order class has several responsibility including capturing the detail of the order such as the order number, customer name and the total amount. Calculating the total price of the order based on the quantity and price of each items. Persisting the order to the database or sending it to the third party system for processing. It is current form the order class violate the SRP because it has more than one reason to change. For example, if we need to change the way the order details are captured, we would have to modify the order class which would also affect the calculation and persistence of the order. To address this, we could ref refract the order class to separate its responsibilities into different classes. For example, order class, this class would only be responsible for capturing the details of the order, such as the order number and the customer name. It would be not responsible for calculating the uh, total price and the pr uh, persisting the order. Order item class, this class would represent an individual item in the order, including its quantity, price, and any uh, applicable discounts. Order calculator class. This class would be responsible for calculating the total price of the order based on the items in the order. It would use the order item class to perform the calculation. Order repository class. This class would be responsible for persisting the order to a database or sending it to the third party system. It would use the order class to retrieve the order details. By separating the responsibilities of the order class into different classes, we can improve the maintainability and the extensibility of our system. The second uh, principle is open clause principle. OCP states that a class should be open for extension but clause for the modification. This principle encourages the use of abstraction, interfaces and inheritance to create flexible and modular system software system here you can see that here we have let's take an example of this uh, open clause system here we have a shape class here we have a inside the shape class we have a draw method if you want to uh, draw triangle like that so you can just create a new method inside the shape class that is draw triangle so lots of option lots of methods and lots of geometries are there so just you can create one by one method so the class extensibility is actually more. But if you can take these types of things in your uh, open class system, where you can take a abstract class shape and abstract a method inside it like draw. And you can uh, draw, if you want to draw triangle, then you just create a new class and inherit it with the shape class. And you can just draw the circle, triangle, squares like that. So uh, that is the problem solved in the open closed principle that the third principle is Lisco substitution principle LSP. The LSP states that object of a superclass should be replaceable with object of a subclass without affecting the correctness of the program. This principle ensures that inheritance hierarchies are designed correctly and that all derived classes implement the behavior expected by their base class. So here we have an example. Here you can say that here we have a animal class that is a super class and all animals make sounds. So here we have a make sound method, animal sound. But if you want to take dog, dogs are also make sound, cat are also make sound. So you can make it class with extend with the animal class and just you can take a method that is make sound and in which you can take bark and for the cat you can take meow okay if you want to apply lisco 
substitution principle then you make if you want to create an object that like that dog object and the cat object separately but if you can take another uh, class that is animal sound maker and that class have a single method that is make animal sound and in which you can take a super class object so super class object can replace with the base uh, child class object so here you can say that so take a method that is make animal sound in it here and here we have a animal that is the super class and animal call make sound method got it so that is the because the animal uh, call the make sound method and in the man method you can see that animal sound maker is create an object after that you have to create a object of each class like dog and cat but assign to the animal after that you can see that animal sound maker dot make animal sound in which you can just pass a dog as well as cat so here we have a scope principles supplied now the fourth is interface segregation principle the ISP state that client should not be forced to depend on interfaces that do not use the principle encourages the creation of small focused and interfaces that define only the functionality that is needed by the client. So here we have an uh, uh, example. Here we have a interface like animal and a interface have eat, sleep, move and make sound method but the client want only the move method or like the eat method so how to design this interface because if lion and the dolphin and the penguin if you want to make a implement from the animal then you can say that lion implement from animal so all these four methods are necessary similarly with the penguin with have all methods are necessary but you can if you use interface segregation principle then you can make a separate interface like lion actions and in which you can define three methods instead of move method so eat sleep and make sound but in the previous you can say that here we have also a move method but client don't want to make move so just create a new class line in uh, line client and in which you can just take a method that is perform perform lion actions and in which you can just define lion actions lion so just lion is actually called eat sleep and make sound in the man method you can say that just create a client uh, lion client class uh, interface by using the lion you have to create a lion uh, object and initialize the lion client dot perform action in which you can just define the lion so only lion can access eat sleep and make sound instead of move method so that is the basic uh, uh, things you can do in the interface segregation principle the next one is the dependency inversion principle dip dip states that high level modules should not depend on low level modules but both but should depend on abstraction Okay, this principle promotes the use of dependency injection and inversion of control or inversion of control to decouple module and make them more reasonable and testable. And here you can say that email center and inventory manager. Here we have two interfaces and both interfaces are actually used in the order processor in, in inside in your uh, constructor. Both uh, in constructor, both interfaces are used and order during the order process they are called e send email and update inventory functions of each interfaces methods so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to esp.com